What up, y'all, and welcome to the Wizard's Forge. In this tutorial series, we're going to be going over how to create a holodeck for testing our combat and quests. This holodeck will make testing in the creator kit a lot easier, as it'll only load a small section of overland instead of the entire overland level. With that being said, let's get started. To create our holodeck, first we're going to figure out how to open the creator kit's developer's content folder. Then we'll briefly go over what a holodeck is, and we'll start building our holodeck in that developer's folder. We'll then cover how to add NPC schedules to our holodecks, and then using a station to spawn Sebastian Salo into our holodeck. To create our holodeck, first we're going to enable show developer content. So we'll select this view option button, and then select show developer content. This developer's content folder will give you a place to put all of your assets and levels that you don't want included in your mod. So I'm going to use this holodeck to get the various locations of Feldcroft and then use a sub-level to add that to my mod. So that brings up the question, what is a holodeck? So Hogwarts Legacy's Overland is broken up into various sections called sub-levels. Instead of loading this entire overland level, we can select specific sub-levels to load to make testing the creator kit a little easier. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Feldcroft sublevel, but you can find this list of all of these sublevels on the CurseForge website, and I'll link that below. To create our holodeck, first we're going to make a new empty level. So we'll select File, and then New Level, and New Empty Level. Next, we're going to save our holodeck into this developer folder. So I'm going to select File, Save Current As, navigate to my developer folder, then I'm going to call this hollow underscore WFM underscore a one and then press save. Now we have our empty holodeck. We just need to add various levels to build it up. So this holodeck will have nothing in it by default. So first thing we're going to do is add a lighting level. If you don't see this level window, you can enable it by selecting window, scroll down to level and then select the level option. The first level we're going to add is going to be the Global Overland Sky Level. We can find this level by selecting Levels, Overland, then find Overland Global Sky, and drag and drop it into our Levels window. So based off that screenshot from CurseForge, I know that Feldcroft is on tile HS underscore AW. To find that, I'm going to select Levels, Overland, HOG, and then I'm going to type in HS underscore AW. And from here, I'm going to drag and drop the HS underscore AW level into our levels window. And then while we're here, let's grab this HS underscore AW feature Hamlet Feldcroft level. And then to move closer to the Hamlet, we can select anything from this outliner and then press the F key to navigate towards it. Next, we're going to add some nav mesh. So we'll go to levels, overland, and then sub levels. And then let's type in HS underscore AW underscore nav to get the nav mesh level. And we can drag and drop this into our level window. Before we add any more to our holodeck, we must first consult our sacred text. This Wizard's Forge Bible is going to be a list of commandments based on mistakes that I made, so you don't have to. This commandment, thou shalt always check what level you have selected before adding assets to your holodeck. We're going to use these sublevels to get the various locations and pathings in Overland, but we're going to want to make sure all of our changes are either in this persistent level or this sublevel that we're going to add to the mod. Next, we're going to add a player start. This is going to be where the player spawns in whenever you play this holodeck. To find that, we're going to go to the place actors window and we're going to type player start. Then we'll drag and drop this player start actor wherever we want it in our holodeck. And then finally, before testing our holodeck, we're going to change all of these sub levels to be loaded by default. Right now, these sub levels are set to be streamed in only when called by a blueprint. This will be great for when we add our sub levels, but for this testing level, we just want it always to be loaded whenever we hit play. We can load these one at a time, or if your PC can handle it, you can shift click all of your levels, right click, and change these all at once. Now before we test our holodeck, let's just save it. So we'll press this save current up here. Then we'll come over to our play button. Make sure a default player start is selected and then press play. Then once that level loads, you'll have this small slice of Feldcraft to easily test your quest and levels. But to test out our holodeck, we're going to spawn Sebastian Salo in the middle of Feldcraft. To do this, we'll first need to open up the schedules for levels static table. You can find that by selecting Windows, DB Text Entry, Static, 
searching schedule for levels and double clicking the schedule for levels static table. Now NPCs in Hogwarts Legacy figure out where they're going to be at any given time based on a series of schedules. Now we can find these schedules located here in the static tables. Now these schedules will change depending on how far in the game the player is, but for this holodeck we just want to be able to spawn Sebastian and get his location for our quest. So we're going to use his schedule underscore spawn only schedule. Now if we go back to the schedule for level static table and scroll down to the bottom, we'll have the option to add our own. So here in this level name, you're going to put in the name of your holodeck. So I have hollow underscore WFM underscore zero one. Then in the schedule name, we're going to use the name of the schedule that we want our holodeck to use. So we want that schedule underscore spawn only. So I'll type in schedule underscore spawn only. Then for our world key, I'm going to copy this Hogwarts Hogsmeade and Overland and then paste it into our new line. This will tell the creator kit that we want NPCs from Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, or Overland to be able to be spawned in our holodeck. And then, very important, we're going to make sure we turn on this dev underscore save locations. This will allow us to save the locations from our holodeck into our sublevels and our mod. Once you're ready, select this add button to add this to the schedule. Then to add Sebastian to our level, first I'm going to make sure my persistent level is selected. Then I'm going to add this BP underscore station bed to our holodeck. This can be found in content, gameplay, stations, bed, and then drag and dropping this BP stations bed into your holodeck. Then with our station bed selected, we're going to navigate to the station component. Then in the station component, we're going to select character, type in Sebastian, and spawn in Sebastian Sallow. And once we've loaded into our holodeck, if we navigate to the middle of the level, we'll see Sebastian Sallow waiting in his station. From here, we'll be able to interact with Sebastian Sallow to progress our quest, which we will cover in the next quest video. Thanks for watching and asking me for this video. We'll be using that holodeck a lot more as we build up our quest. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, and let me know what kinds of videos and tutorials you'd like to see next. Wizards Forge Mods, out.